My name is Cole Meter with the University of Nebraska Lincoln Extension in Lancaster County and today we are going to candle some of these um, chicken eggs. They're currently on day seven of their incubation. Candling is basically taking a bright light and shining it, um, shining that light through the egg so you can see what all is going on in there. Any eggs you get at the grocery store to eat, they've all been candled to make sure that um, there's nothing um, wrong with that egg so that they're safe to eat. And then anytime anybody's ever hatching any type of bird, you'll always candle them um, just to keep track of how they're growing. And um, the, candle, the candler that I'm using right now is just a regular flashlight so you can use whatever um, you have around your house just so you can shine that light through the egg. And there's three different types that we may see in here. Um, in the classrooms, we call them winners, quitters, and yokers. Winners are ones that are fertilized and still actively growing. Quitters are those that um, have died through the process of the last seven days. And then yokers are ones that were never fertilized from the very beginning. So we'll go ahead and take a look. Okay, this first one here, this is a winner. It's still growing. See lots of healthy blood vessels in there. This particular egg actually has a crack in it that I've taken some glue <clears throat> and put over. And at this stage, it's still growing nice. And if we can find, okay, there's the embryo. You can see it moving around. Then if it moves correctly, there's a really black spot and that is its eye. And what day is it again? This is day seven. Another thing we like to do when we're candling these eggs is check the air sac to make sure that it's positioned at the right part of the egg. A lot of times you'll get some air sacs that are um, down farther um, and those those usually will not hatch so we always like to check those this one here looks perfect as these um, as these chicks develop the um, air sac will grow a little bit more um, so basically when that chick hatches it'll cut the egg in half okay so there's one All right, here is a quitter. And how we know that is we see these red lines. They kind of make a ring and all that is is those healthy blood vessels that we see in the ones that are still alive, they kind of migrate into a ring as we see here. And this is another one of those eggs that had a lot of cracks in it. So most likely what happened to this one was um, the cracks were just too severe. So we will pull that one out of the incubator. And here's another one, same deal. This is another one of those eggs that had some cracks in it. And you can actually still see the embryo in this one. Right up there at the top. Here we go. <clears throat> now we're back to some good ones. Lots of good healthy blood vessels. If you watch this clearer area, you'll see that embryo moving around. Checking the air sac, this one looks good as well. Okay. There's another good one. You can watch right up in here and you'll see that embryo moving.
and another. There's a good shot of the embryo. One thing you'll notice as we candle these eggs, some of them look farther along than others. Um, even though they're all in the same exact environment, they're just like people. Some mature and grow faster than others. That's why when during hatches, some of them hatch right at the beginning and other ones are just a little delayed. Okay, on this egg, here's another winner. Down here at the bottom, you see it's kind of darker, and all that is is um, the yolk and albumin that that embryo is feeding off of. So up here, this is um, this is the sac that the embryo is living in, and then down here is just that excess yolk and albumin that it absorbs during the 21 days. And as we turn the egg, you can watch <clears throat> you can watch that yolk kind of rotate with the embryo. There's a nice healthy one. And this is another one of those that had some cracks that I put some glue on, and it actually has worked for this one. And there's the embryo. Okay, here's another quitter. We can see that blood ring right there up at the top. A lot of these eggs we really don't know why they die through this process but there's another winner. You can see that embryo right there by my thumb. Air sac looks good. Here at the office on egg cam, we keep these eggs in an automatic turner, but in the classrooms, the students actually physically turn these eggs three times a day, so they either keep them in, um, in an egg tray on their side or just straight on the screen. Um, in their incubators. So when we candle them in the classrooms, it's a lot easier to see the embryo itself because um, they're on their side and they're up towards the um, top of the egg. But with ours, since they're in a turner, it's a little harder to see those embryos very visibly. Okay, there is a yoker can see a considerable difference. We don't see any blood ring like we did in some of those others. There's the yolk, that cloudy spot in there. So this is one that was never fertilized from the very beginning. It's just a plain old egg. Okay, here's another yoker. You can see it's pretty clear 
We don't see any signs of any blood rings, like it could be a quitter. Again, this is one that's never fertilized, it's just a plain old egg. There's a nice strong one. We always <clears throat> tell the kids in the classroom that these blood vessels are like roots on a tree. Those roots go into the ground, suck up moisture and nutrients to keep the tree alive, and these blood vessels are what keeps those embryos alive. Uh, you can see on this egg that um, the calcium was not deposited um, as thick as it should have been. You can see all these little, what look like holes in the shell. They're not holes, it's just where the calcium was not deposited um, as thick as it should have been. But it is a winner anyways. Same with this egg. There's some spots on it that almost look like cracks. They're not. It's just areas where the calcium is not as thick as the rest. And there's the embryo on this one. Are the embryos always that active or are they kind of reacting to the movement? Um, the embryos are usually um, fairly active throughout the whole process, but since um, we're handling each of them and that light's getting shined through, they're a little more active than they would normally be on a day-to-day -day basis. But just like everything as they're um, growing before they're born, they always do some moving around. Here's another egg that looks like it's cracked. It is not cracked. That's just some areas where the calcium's not as thick. And another quitter. And the last egg is a yoker. Okay.